Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Logitech G Hub stuck on loading screen. But before we start, hurry up and check out these all for just on this video. So let's get started. So how to exactly fix Logitech G Hub here if it's stuck? Well, the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up Task Manager. Now you could go and just search for it at the bottom of your screen, or you could just type in in your keyboard, Control Shift Escape to open up Task Manager directly. Now in here in Task Manager, you want to look for Logitech G Hub. So you just need to scroll down a bit here until you see a G Hub here. So it might not exactly say Logitech G Hub, but it should say something similar to G Hub. But what you need to do is you want to go ahead and just select one of them, right click on it, and you want to go and choose the option it says for open file location. Now with uh, this one, as you can see, you can see the exe file for Logitech G Hub. So you can go and scroll down a bit here and look for uh, other apps that you may see in here. So you can go and scroll down a bit. So if you don't see any or all of the apps here, so you can go and just try the other one. So I'm just going to select this one, right click on it, click on the open file location and see if we are going to get uh, the other pop up. But again, this is just uh, similarly, it's just going to be in here. Let's go and go to the LG hub here and see if we could basically see it. So yeah, under LG hub, now, this is the folder we, what, that we are looking for. Now, what you need to do is, since we have the folder in here, you want to go back into Task Manager. You want to select uh, both this uh, device or this uh, option or this services here. Right click on it, click on End Task. Do this to the other running G Hub as well. And you can go and just close this window. Now, let's go and just reboot the app. So you can go and select LG Hub.exe. And uh, you can go, by the way, you can just press and hold control while selecting the following. Let's go and choose LG Hub Agent, uh, LG Hub Software Manager, and uh, LG Hub SSO Handler. And you could also select uh, LG uh, Cashpad Handler here as well. So it's just five uh, .exe files. Now you could go and just right click on them and choose the option that says Run as Administrator. Answer yes if it requires further permission. But once it's actually running here, by the way, it's requesting for the permission, answer yes. If you do see like this pop up here, go and click on it, answer yes again until everything is running in the background. Now, by the way, if you do see the uninstall window, go and just close this one. Uh, you could go and ignore this. Let's go and click on quit. But yeah, so once you have this running, you can go and just see if that solves your issue. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.